Nine people were killed, 27 others injured. At Under least 15 people are dead. Go, 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 you can see the chaos that rang out. What's going on? What's the the gunman being confirmed among the three dead and the 12 injured. I'm Brian May. The numbers are hard to read. July 28th, Gilroy Garlic Festival. Four dead, 13 injured. Five days later, August 3rd, El Paso, Texas, in a shopping center. 22 dead, 24 injured. Less than 14 hours later, in a historic district in Dayton, Ohio, 10 dead, 27 injured. Three mass shootings in less than a week. It's enough to make any of us ask the question, how safe are we when we go to a large public place? We talked about this topic back in 2017, but in light of recent events, we thought it was time to revisit the subject. With more on that, here's Sean Boyd. It is quiet and it is dark here at Golden One, but don't let that fool you because security is always watching 24 seven, especially during games and events. In fact, there's more than meets the eye when it comes to spectator safety. How about that shot by Ben McLemore? The new Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento is the NBA's newest premier arena. A little as Benny Mac, a boy, oh wow. boy, Benny Mac. A sellout game crowd of more than 17,000. 19,000 for concerts like its first, Paul McCartney. But long before the venue opened and crowds filled seats, safety was a priority. So we're here at Golden One Center's Mission Control. Sergeant Bryce Heinlein is one of several officers from the Sacramento PD who can be stationed in the nerve center at the arena. It's part of Golden One Center's Experience Center. Police, fire, security, and other important department staff fill this room every time there's a game or event. It's really cl about collaboration and making sure everybody's on the same page about what is going on at the arena at any specific time. They monitor everything in here, from the sidewalks and traffic outside to the seats and foot traffic inside. It looks there. like we have social media pulled up here as well. Yes, social media posts about the event going on are treated as valuable intel. We're constantly uh, monitoring uh, social media feeds to see what the top topics are or to see what's trending. Um, it's just an information gathering spot for us to be able to get information and disseminate. And since they're all in the same room, they can share any of it instantly and accurately with each other should an incident happen. Conceptually, it's like the Cal OES State Operations Center, but on a much smaller scale. Entertainment venues are a safety focus at Cal OES through our large stadium initiative. After all, California has 39 million residents and is now the fifth largest economy in the world. We're a desirable target. As the state's top cop, Cal OES law enforcement chief Mark Pazin made sure Cal OES was involved in safety planning for Golden One Center. And Super Bowl 50 is underway. As well as Levi Stadium and Super Bowl 50. <laughs> the recent violence in Manchester accentuates that need. That level of violence has been risen, which again necessitates that we rise to that level of vigilance and preparedness. But with all the planning, all the cooperation and technology, safe public events can always use your help. Remember, if you see something, say something. We encourage the public to come to us, engage us in conversation. So we rely on um, our visitors here or our community to bring things to our attention um, and to work together to make it a safe environment. And here's a nice lob and a finish by Willie Cauley Stein. Quick factoid for you, get this, there are more than 700 television monitors in this entire arena, many of which are devoted to your safety. Remember, you are on the front lines when you go to a large public event. Even with police and law enforcement working around the clock to keep you safe, they still need your help. With more on that, here's Monica Vargas in another story we first showed you in 2017. Hey, thanks, Brian. Whether you're at the NBA Finals or your local Friday night football game, it's important for you to stay alert and know what to do if something just doesn't feel right. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security's See Something, Say Something campaign wants to educate you on what you can do to help keep your community safe. This campaign also has a ton of resources available that you can share with your friends, family, and your community, just like this simple but powerful PSA. I pay attention for a living. I watch plays and make important calls. While I'm busy watching a game, I need your help in keeping an eye on the stands. We all play a role in protecting our communities. If you see something suspicious, make the right call. Tell a law enforcement official. So 
it's really important that you pay attention to your surroundings. If you see something or someone's behavior that seems suspicious, don't keep it to yourself. Contact your local law enforcement. That activity may be completely innocent, but we'll leave that to law enforcement to determine. And remember, if it's an emergency, call 911. A good reminder that public safety is everyone's responsibility. If you see something, say something and report it immediately. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.